Pad Kapow, Thailand's unofficial national dish. Now you could never say the best in Bangkok, that would be utterly ridiculous. But what I can give you is seven of my absolute favorites that you will not be disappointed with. Let's go. So this is the first stop. Not even sure the name of it, but it's like a hundred year old odd house. And underneath there's a sign saying 29 baht. Pad Kapow. All right, just how we like it, guys. Simple, simple. No messing about. So, what do you come? Oh, hello, cup. Somebody make up. If the, if you don't even, even if you don't like Pad Kapow, this is your this is the reason to come down here. Yes, bud. Right, so like I said, it's just someone's house and they've converted it into a little Pad Kapow restaurant. Right, so very simple, just a wok burner that's seen some use, guys. Look at this, this has seen a bit of use. Our Pad Kapow more sab, no? Kap? Ped Ped, no? This is the type I like, Pad Kapow with pig hang, dried chilli. Boran. It's a bit of moose up. More. Oh, got on it. All right, so instead of fresh, so they're using dry chili and instead of fresh garlic, they're also using dried garlic. And he's sealed up. And he's sealed up. And he's sealed up. And he's so fish sauce and sugar and the kapow leaves. Just a matter of seconds and this is done guys. Alright, so two tamada, so it's not not even pea said, just tamada, two hundred grams of rice. Alright, just to put it into perspective for you, yeah, this is a, around two hundred grams, she said, and that's a uh, tamada, so this is normal, and this is pea said, so this is the large one. And this is some sip harbat. So for thirty-five baht, you can get three hundred grams of rice with your pack of power. This guys, this is how you fry an egg. All right guys, so I've got the no egg, because I just want to show you what you can get for 29 baht, which is about 70 pence or about 85 US cents. The egg is seven baht, so we're only, we've only spent 36 baht altogether. So on that goes. Some pit nam pa, some chili fish sauce. This is just fish sauce, chili, lime juice. All right. All right, let's crack this egg, guys. Oh, that is a thing of pure beauty, isn't it? What we gotta do, we gotta break this up. Really try and get a little bit of everything. I mean, it's as good 
It's as good a pack of power as you're likely to find. It's heavy, heavy, heavy on the dark soy sauce. Very, very simple. Dried chilies, dried garlic. I love the dried garlic, by the way. Dried garlic, dried chilies. They're spicy as hell. A nice fair bit of the kapow leaves. So you're getting that big, big hit of holy basil. I hate, and I mean hate, when I go to somewhere abroad, like in England, and ask for kapow and I get holy basil. I absolutely hate when I go back home and I order pack of pal, which well, I don't order pack of pal anymore. But if I do order pack of pal, and it comes with Thai basil instead of holy basil, which will make it pad hola pa, not pad ka pal, because pack of pal literally translates to stir fried holy basil. So if you don't have any holy basil, you don't have any pack of pal. Don't get me started on people using Italian basil either. I found this place just walking past and I saw the sign obviously that said Paco Pau 29 baht and I thought that's probably rubbish but it's gimmicky and I could do a video out of it. I'm pleased to report no gimmicks here it's not just the amount of rice you get there's 200 grams of rice here so it's a substantial amount of food but then I'm thinking they're going to be stingy on the meat but they're not. It's a standard size portion a little bit saucier than I like but now I understand why it's saucy, because you get so much rice, it needs that sauce. Uh, and it is quite salty as well, but it needs to be to make sure it doesn't get too diluted by the amount of rice you get. Egg cooked to absolute perfection. But I suggest you come down, try this place out for yourself uh, and see if I'm talking waffle or have I just found the best value pack of pal in Bangkok. I'm saying, as I'm getting down to the bottom, even though there was so much rice, it's still all coated with that sauce because there was quite a lot of sauce. Very, very well flavored. If I was being hyper, hyper like, oh, my ideal pack of pal, then this would be a tad heavy on the dark soy sauce, but that's a personal preference. I'd still eat here every day. All right, guys, so I might have done them a little bit of a disservice here. I've just been calling them a pack of pal shop. Where the, 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 the thing they're famous for is the pack of pal, but they're also Tam Sang restaurants. So they also do, like at the moment, she's whipping up a cow pad fried rice with more chin, which is sliced pork. Uh, they also do pad pit gang, which is stir fried curry paste, or pad no mai, uh, stir fried bamboo, she said. So they do do a lot of different dishes in here. It's not just pack of pal. Aniki bana? Somehow, 35 baht. For, look at the size of this for 35 baht. Hold on. Koponga? Koponga. Lunch, Alina? Chu, Tuakong, Kao, 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 Big size. Big size. Okay, Kao. Same as me, guys. All right, come down and see the guys. Bye -bye. See you later. Koponga, Kao. Koponga. Right, and if I can get past the traffic, we're gonna go in. But this is the shop, right, back up out there, 1993. And I was like, what is this all about? There's no way this has been here for 29 years and I've never seen it before. But, and I went in and asked the boss B, it's actually B's birthday, 1993. Sorry, up, hello. So the reason this side street is so busy is because it's a cut through from the main road where the BTS station is all the way through to Ladya Road, which is where the uh, Pad Thai Cowboy is that I did a video at. Um, and then one way in Yai Roundabout, which the BTS is named after, which is a massive roundabout. Right, I'm gonna put my Thai reading to the test. Hello, <laughs> Tokyo. Okay. Okay. Me kung, man. Okay, I'll pack up our kung. I'll. ผักกะเพาหมูสับกับหมูกรอบได้มั้ยรวมโอเคโอเคเพชรนิดหน่อยเอาเพชรเพชรเลยนะครับอ่ะกูสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ
ีอะไรนะข้าวผัดข้าวผัดหมูกรอบข้าวผัดกะเพราหมูกรอบครับ so she's making ข้าวผัดหมูกรอบอ he's making ผัดกะเพราหมูสับSo I've just spoke to B's uh, mum on the phone over voice, mess like over FaceTime, and her, her her stepdad, and they've got a YouTube channel as well. They're called Maui Howie, and they do like riding around on bikes, like motorbikes around Thailand. So make sure you subscribe to them. I'm going to leave their YouTube channel links in the description below, guys. All right. Anyway, let's get onto this p a k a p a o Okay. This guy is. Told you we'd struck gold. All right, guys. I think we have definitely struck gold. The crispiness of this egg, but then the yolk, m y s e l not, ah, oh, not cooked through. Oh my god. Right, so first things first, we're going to get a bit of nampa. I'm going to get that onto that egg. Then I like to squeeze out. Oh, we've got all that head juice. I'll eat those after. Then I like to squeeze all my prawns out the tails. Get some of the chilies. Look at that. Green, red. Dried red. Oh, there is another one. So we have got four. So we did have five. Oh, there's another one. Six. Right, let's just get a mouthful of this. Wow. Mmm. All right, these prawns are. Amazing, guys! Cooked to perfection. Just cooked, bouncy, springy, coated in that sauce of light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, bit of oyster sauce. Touch of sugar, loads and loads of garlic, which is almost caramelized as it's been cooked over that high heat. You've got the three different types of chilies. You got, you got the fresh green, which is very, very hot. And you've got the fresh red, which is a little bit sweet and hot. Then you've got the deep heat coming from the dried, and then you've also got the extra heat coming from the p i c k n a m p l a The richness coming from that egg yolk, that crispy egg. Like, look how crispy that is, and how they've got that egg not to cook at all. The yolk, amazing. Mm. As I had, as I said, I had a serious, serious craving for p a k a p a o Mm. And that's hit the spot. Cup on cup. Wow. Right, and next comes the minced pork with crispy pork as well. How are they doing this with the egg? How are they getting it this crispy, but with the yolk this uncooked? Wow! All right, chilies. We got green chilies. We got fresh green, fresh red, and dried red, all in one go. I'm gonna have to get a load of everything. Dip it in that egg. Mm. I love the combination of the. The crispy, crunchy, fatty m u k r o b the crispy pork belly, and then the soft, fatty, slightly like crispy on the outside. More s a p the minced, the minced pork. Now I would al almost always get, I would almost always get 
Hagapal with minced pork. Right, it's my favourite. I don't really like it with beef, but minced pork and prawns is one of my favourite. But minced pork and crispy pork also amazing. To be honest, I think I should have got minced pork, crispy pork, and prawns all in the same bowl. Wow. The sauce is perfect, it's not really sweet at all. Much more on the savoury side, which is what I like. It's not too saucy. I love the fact it's got the dry chilies in and the fresh chilies in. And I love the fact the pig nampa has a bit of manau in it, so it's a little bit of lime juice, you're getting a little bit of acidity, especially with the prawns. But as good as as good as they are separately, I'm gonna have to mix them together. So I'm gonna get my prawn and then I'm gonna put it in my get some more crab, get some more sap. What can I say? I'm a genius. Just where else could you get this many prawns in a kapow? So yeah, we had five. One of them, unfortunately, a poor little man hit the deck, hit the floor. So we had a man down, soldier down, unfortunately. So he won't be joining us today, but we'll eat his friends in, in memory of him. <laughs> Because it's such a simple dish pack about. Everything has to be cooked right. The rice has to be done right. If you're using seafood like this, you have to treat it with respect. It can't come all rubbery and overcooked. This is absolutely perfect. The meat has to be done right. It has to be the right amount of chilies in it. it. Has to be the right amount of kapow leaves in it. And this for me is absolutely perfect. I'm not even gonna get started again on the egg because that was just on another level. It's difficult for me to get excited about a pad kapow because it is such a common dish in Thailand, but when I get one like this, which I'm not expecting, it kind of, kind of blows me away and leaves me a little bit speechless. So this for me, without overhyping it, has just jumped into top five, at least in Tom Marie. Mm. Oh. Don't let me ever catch you leaving your prawn heads. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm at a restaurant in Bangkok in Ekamai that no vlogger has ever been to ever 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 in the history of YouTube. I'm at Ped Mark, Mark Wien's famous pad kapal restaurant and today I'm combining this for my vegetarian viewers. So I'll be getting the vegetarian pad kapal and I have a very very special guest this week. Let's go take a look. So, um, if you're not familiar with Mark Wiens, he is a very small YouTuber, a couple of subscribers, not quite on my level, but um, he's getting there. As I said, I went for the vegetarian, and instead of fake meat, which I thought that's what this was gonna be, is actually tofu and mushroom, and that's mixed with a ridiculous amount of chilies, because I've obviously gone for level what, five spice. Bai kapow, which are kapow leaves, obviously. Uh, we've got loads of garlic, loads of chili, and fresh pepper paste. I went for two duck eggs, two fried duck eggs, and I've put a bit of pik nam pa, which is chili fish sauce. I'm gonna crack the egg. Oh my God. All right. So as I said, I've gone extra level five spicy. Now, the, my friend that I've brought down here, um, cameraman, who I will introduce you to in a minute, I'm sure you don't know him either. Um, he's gone for level three spicy, and that was spicy enough. I can't even taste any chili. <laughs> you are joking. Yeah, that's no, really spicy. 
Right, super hot. I got a feeling this is going to be a creeper, in fact, I know it is, I've been here before. I love the fact that it is not processed fake meat. That's what puts me off eating more vegetarian food in Thailand because if I personally am cooking vegetarian food at home, I will always, always replace the meat with mushrooms because I just feel like it's got like texture almost similar to meat and also it takes on the flavor of the meat. I love the duck egg. Anyone telling me that the eggs aren't cooked properly in here, you've lost your mind. The duck egg adds like an extra bit of richness as opposed to a chicken egg. Now, this isn't the only place I know that's selling with duck eggs, but it is a nice little touch. Come in and have a look. Like, I wouldn't necessarily know that I was eating a vegetarian meal, because it's so spicy, I can't really taste what meat it is anyway. Mm. And the mushrooms have taken on all the flavor from the soy sauce, the oyster sauce, the chilies, the garlic, etc., etc. Oh. This is starting to creep up on me. It's a very, very good pack of pack. Okay, I want to talk to you about price. A lot of people absolutely slate this place. I had a look on Google before I came in and people were really complaining about the prices. And I remember that from the video I did. Yes, the Wagyu beef is expensive. It's like 269 Wagyu shank. But the cheapest in here, which is the vegetarian, is 109 with an egg. And it's a very big plate. Like it's probably twice the size of a standard pack of pal. So that you'd get on the street. So I don't actually think it's that expensive. The pork, 109, or 129, sorry, is comparable with somewhere like Kiang, which is a um, a chain restaurant center, Pak Kapow, which is very, very good as well. So I think the quality uh, and the size of it, I actually don't think this is very expensive at all. Plus it's a sit down restaurant with aircon, and the man's got to make a little bit of money. I've got no problems. All right, guys, let me see what my uh, small YouTube friend thinks of this. All right, so let's see what my man Paddy Doily thinks. <laughs> Paddy Doily. <laughs> Everybody calls me Paddy Doily, and it's Doyle. Get it right. Uh, yeah, I'm the same as you, but I've gone for level three. And yeah, it, it's it's spicy, mate. It's, it's spicy, spicy but no, it's lovely. I mean, the the egg is amazing. Um, the rice, you know, no one talks about the rice. Yes. The rice is white and um, very nice. No, but the thing is, that there's different levels of rice. Cheap rice, good mm. rice, and very good rice. Yep. And you do notice it. You do Definitely. notice it. And they do have the good this rice. It's almost got like a sort of Japanese rice feel to it, like the actual texture. Yeah. Not the. Not it's the, almost sticky rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, almost yeah. sticky rice. So don't forget about the rice. You know, rice, rice life matters. Rice life does matter. I've got. A, I've actually got a sticker. Um, no rice, no life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So if anyone wants to buy a T-shirt with no rice, no life on it, um, head over to the. Yeah. Um, Merch store. Merch store now. All right, so I want to say a big thank you to Paddy Doyle. Uh, I came down here today. Um, to it's Paddy Doyley. Paddy Doyley. Even the line man just walked out. Someone just came in to get a take one. Oh, Paddy Doyley. Oh, Paddy Doyley. <laughs> Paddy Doyley. I don't know why he was from India. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, Paddy is back on the road after a few months, uh, or a month in Bangkok. Yeah, like literally, this is my driving gear and my bike's all packed up, ready to go. Back on the road. Ganchanaburi, Sapanburi, Andong, and all around the north of Bangkok, down towards Trak, Ko Chang, Pattaya, and back to Bangkok, and then a big road trip to Phuket, which is the final yeah. province. Which is hopefully where I will see you next, my friend. Yes. So it's been emotional. Obviously, if you're following Paddy, I mean, if you're following me, you'll be following Paddy anyway, but if you're not, get over there, subscribe. He's doing an awesome channel, doing the whole of the 77 provinces of Thailand on Dreamy, his motorbike, um, and partner in crime. Thank you for uh, having me in your videos this, uh, this past month. Thank you for being the on-site expert of food Very and much. Bangkok. You were scraping the barrel for sure. Um, this has gone over five minutes. Which okay. is well over five which minutes. You should unsubscribe to him for doing that. You know, it's false I've, advertising. I've, I've misled you guys and I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> all right. So as always, prices, directions, opening times, all that good stuff in the comment section, description box below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on Sunday. Mwah. Bye. Lan Yai Chui. This is a name from the student in Absol School. Ah, so oh. slow cooking. Let's slow, oh. really cook, really slow. If somebody um, don't cha, cha, really slow, that is Yai Chui. Ah, yai Chui. Yai yeah, oh. is mean the grandmother. Chui is really slow. Oh. And did, did she teach you to cook? Oh, no. Before this, she cook. 
that now she uh, have a problem about yeah, the body. Yeah. But she teach you, Lian. Yes, that's why uh, she yeah, teach yeah. me about. Ah, good. ผักกะเพราหมูสับหนึ่งครับเนาะเอาเอาผักผักกะเพราหมูสับกับหมูครบได้มั้ยรวมไม่ถึงผสมกันเนาะผสมกันจุนมิกซ์ไว้เอาเ
both batteries on my camera have died, so I'm back onto the phone. I'm, I'm, I was trying to pretend to Ellis that I was a professional earlier. It makes you feel better, though. Yeah, definitely. Um, so where did I get to? I'm not quite sure because the camera's died, but what I was trying to say is that this place has more of like a community feel about it. Um, Auntie or Grandma was named Lazy Grandma by these school kids down the road because she takes so long to give everyone the food. But now she's taught Mill how to cook, uh, and she's been doing it for like the last 20 years or whatever. But yeah, great place, isn't it? Absolutely, it's phenomenal. Incredible. Don't forget guys, get over, as I said, follow Ellis on his little journey. Um, videos are really cool, like, kind of what I do, but um, more like, people involved so you just mm -hmm. you just go around right down on back streets and just no we just we just set off out and whatever happens happens the sort of videos i like mate so get on over there i know you're going to enjoy them and i will see you moi in the next one bye All right, so we're down on Wutakat road it's the road that leads from Wutakat bts station to Talapu Market, okay? So we're a world away from the busy Sukhumvit Road or the shopping malls of Siam down here. It's just local, quiet, everyday life. The only reason you'd come down here really is to eat or go to Talapu Market. There's not much else going on around here, just plenty of street food. So just a really good local area. All right, here we are, stop number one at one of my favorite aunties in the whole of Bangkok for this awesome Pagapel. Now these guys, the local boys, they all know. They've been telling me, having a bit of a laugh with the local furang, telling me this is number one in the whole of Tombury for Pad Kapow. So let's take a look at what makes this Pad Kapow and this lady so special. Hard to see through this glass, we've got more dang. But what we're actually interested in, we've also got some more grub, but what we're interested in is the more chin. It's sliced pork coated in soy sauce and coconut sugar, a little bit of pepper and some flour, some rice flour. And what that does is keeps the pork nice and soft when she goes to stick it on this big flame. And yeah, Elena? Kapao Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at the chilies. Look at the crispy pork. Legend. I've got a mix up here, look. She's give me a little bit of moo crab as well. Homemade chili paste. Come on, Cub. Oh, look, they're really helping me out here. They've taken pity on me. Come on, Cub. Come on, Cub. Bye bye. Bye bye. I mean, just to try and put this into perspective for you guys, this, all of this, was 45 baht. That is one pound. And if I can explain to you, over camera just how soft this pork goes because it's been marinated for so long it's almost brine a perfectly crispy egg could do with being a bit more runny but again that's my fault but let me try and get a little bit of everything i want to get crispy pork and moo crab onto my spoon forget the egg for now let's go That is absolutely insanely good. The pork, I can't explain to you. It's thin slices of fatty pork shoulder that have been, as I keep saying, coated in rice flour and soy sauce and sugar. It tastes a bit like morping. It's like a, a morping pack of hell. It's amazing. Couple that with the crispy pork. So you've got soft sliced pork, crispy, crunchy, fatty, more crop. To top it all off, homemade dao jiao that she puts in it, 
this is what makes this unique. I'm telling you, this is a unique version of like the most popular dish in Thailand. So, so far we've got the fact that the pork is marinated in sugar, soy sauce and rice flour instead of just thrown into the wok. So it keeps very, very soft. And then second of all, it's got dao jiao, which is yellow bean paste, fermented yellow bean paste, Chinese yellow bean paste, which is my favorite thing in the world anyway. And she makes her own, so absolutely amazing. So instead of dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, oyster sauce and all that, it's just got dao jiao and oyster sauce in this one, sugar and a little bit of pom chu rod. And I'm telling you guys, amazing. Right, now I need to get a bit of this egg as well. Egg and the bits and pieces. You might think I'm going over the top. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going over the top. Maybe it's just a pack of pal. This is what I live for. Finding these unique local dishes and just eating outside. Nothing fancy, just outside eating good food on the street. This is, this is why I'm here. And if this is why you're here in Thailand on holiday, then get yourself down to what the God, Soy Ten. But what I'm gonna say is my favorite pack of power in Bangkok. This is what we came for, guys. Oh, pack of power, Mukrobna. Pet, pet, na. Oh, suki, suki hang, suki hang, ruam, na. Oh, pet, pet, na. Oh, pet, pet. Oh, suki guy, tamada, na. So the name of the truck is Suki Rodden and as the name suggests they are famous for Suki and I've got Suki Hang Ruam so I've got stir fried dry Suki glass noodles with prawns squid chicken pork cabbage spring onions Suki sauce which is absolutely amazing here. And it is all perfectly cooked, charred to death, just how I like it. So much wok high, it is untrue. Next up, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, because not only am I doing a five minute Friday, also shout out to Bryce, one of my subscribers, who has been following me for absolutely years. He asked me, where is the best Pad Kapow Mulkrob in Bangkok? Now, I'm not sure if I can say it's the best, but this is definitely one of my favorites. So I'm going to eat this one first for you, my friend. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, this is the fourth time I've come down here to film because four times I've got down here at half past five. They only open at four o'clock or half past four. By half five, sold out of crispy pork. So today I came back, I was in luck. So seeing I struck gold, let's take a closer look at this delicious pad kapow. Okay, so we've got deep fried crispy pork belly. We've also got some piknom, which are sometimes referred to as banana chilies. They're the long, light green chilies. Kapow leaves, loads and loads of chili, ask for it, pet pet. Um, and she's just stir fried this off, loads of garlic, loads of chili, some soy sauce, some oyster sauce, a little bit of sugar, and that delicious, fatty, crispy, Port belly. Mm. Now, of course, no pack of bows complete without a fried egg. But as I was filming the B roll, I let the fried egg uh, cook a little bit too much. So, my fault, not theirs. But anyway, this is so, so good. The pork, no wonder they sell out so quickly it's so crunchy so crispy so well seasoned the whole dish just tastes of smoke from that ridiculously high wok they're cooking over so husband and wife team they're cooking from like as i said 4 30 all the way through until they run out just two woks at the back of a truck fans going at full blast and this is some serious serious wok cooking I've got to show you this one. Right, so he used to just cook off the back of this truck. I'll stick some footage over the top so you can see what I'm talking about. It was legendary, it was quality. And it was just there, but now, now, it's the first time I've been here. 
He's got a permanent residence, look at this, underneath the flyover. Did he come? Hey, will you walk here, man? Okay, sweaty girl. Somebody make up? Oh. Uh -huh. Nice. Nice place. Oh, they got long one drink as well. Something bad. Hello, man. Hello, man. Okay. All right. This is a master at work, guys. So he also does pad see you, pad kimao, but for me, the one in here, pad kapao. Before you used to have to maybe get a chair on one of these, sorry, get a seat on one of these plastic chairs and that never worked out too well for me. Lance away. Ao pakapao mosap kapung. Ruam na? Kaab. Ooh. Dry chili. Right guys, so I'll let you in on a little secret. I've actually stopped drinking alcohol for the foreseeable future. Um, so I'm just craving, although I don't like sweet things, I'm like craving something sugary. Oh, that is good. I mean, it's very sweet, but. Oh, yes. So you might not have heard of Wutakad BTS station. I wouldn't blame you. It's not, as I said in the intro, on the tourist trail in any way, shape or form, but it is just an absolute gem. If you're staying anywhere west of the river and you come here, you will not be disappointed. In fact, you could just only come here when you come to Bangkok, eat, and you'd leave happy. There is no way in the world you would be disappointed with this, and this is the only place you'd have to come. So get out, eat local, and they'll love you for it. So here's my one, guys. I've got more sap, which is minced pork and prawns. Yes. Cab. All right, got to get the fried egg, guys. Yes. She said, <laughs> Nong usually brings that common cup. He's meant to be bringing it over for me, but I said, don't worry about it. Take a load off, I said. All right, guys, we've got to go a bit of pick nam pai, right? Chili fish sauce. This has got the garlic in it, the chili, a little bit of lime juice. Put it on the egg. Always on the egg, guys. And I actually don't think this is a runny egg because I should have asked him to cook this for me separately. Oh, it is. Yes, we got a little bit of runny egg. We got a bit. Of, we got a bit of gummage. A bit of wurzel. All right. And as I said, I've gone. I've gone prawn. So we're going to get prawn. We're going to get more sap. We're going to get some pika pal. We're going to get that gummy egg. Guys, it's so simple, but so, so effective. If you haven't had prawn and pork in your pack of pal, you haven't lived. Mm. The sweet prawn meat against that fatty pork mince is a marriage made in heaven. If Helen like me, as much as prawns like pork, I'll be a happy man. Again, most of the flavour from this coming from that high intense heat cooking. Did you see the size of those flames? One, two, three, 
four decent sized prawns, loads of pork, loads of rice. Cooked to perfection. I love the dried chili. I love a dry pack of pal with dried chilies. Mm. Then you can put those fresh chilies on from the pick and plant on top. That is a top, top dish. Such a simple dish, but it's so easy to understand when you have this for the first time, why this is Thailand's unofficial national dish. All right, guys, so there you have it. Three more reasons why Bangkok has probably the best street food in the world. As always, I will stick links with directions to everywhere I ate in the description box below. Please leave a comment. Any other random areas in Bangkok you want me to go and eat, leave it in the comments and I will get that done. For now, I think you've seen enough of me and I will see you in the next one.